Howdy ho folks, uh, guess this is going to be probably my first update on my small scale group build. Um, before I get too carried away I figured I'd start with uh, the first day on the bench. I got all the parts washed and um, started, I glued up the cockpit area and I was getting ready to do this and I thought hey I should probably document some of this. and. Uh, so here we are, we're getting started. So this is my start of the assembly. So let me get busy here and glue some of my fingers together and cut myself a few times and throw some things and then I will be back with a little more progress. So until then, we'll see ya. Hey there, I'm back. Got something about the tires and wheels. Let's check it out. So, I'm putting things together here, working away, gluing things up, decided to work on the tires and wheels, and I like to fit them up, see how they're going to fit, because I've ran into these problems before. So, just doing the wheels together, putting them together and putting the tires, if you can see this, they don't exactly fit. It's almost like the wheels are a little too wide for the tires. There's a lot of gap right right in there on front and back. So I did some modifying, modifying, modificating, whatever you want to call it, and uh, got them to fit in there a lot nice and tighter now. You see that or not. Hopefully you can see that. So that fits nice and tight now. What I did and I'll show you the difference here. Let me pop this out. And I'll pop this one out. Um, if you can see, where's the camera? Camera! Uh, hopefully you can see there's the slight injector pin nubs on the back. It's the same on the wheel backs and the wheel fronts also have some of those nubs and hopefully you can see those so I sanded those off and they were still not coming together real good but here I'm gonna put the this is one that I sanded and this is one that's left alone and I think you can see the difference and how thick they are. So what I do is I take this 220 grit, right? I just lay it flat, lay that flat on there, and I just there, here we go. Let's get it in here. There we go. Lay the 220 flat on the table like that. And just you know hold it flat down and just keep sanding it. And sanding it 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 and sanding it. Check it, sand it some more and sand it and sand it. Anyway, you get the idea until you get it down to where it needs to be. So they're like that. So this is the one that's that's done now. They go together, they're the right width now. The wheel, the tire. So if I put this together now, the rim is up nice and tight to the tire, and it doesn't look like the tire is too small for the rim. And like I've had conversations with a lot of my car guy friends, and we always agree that tires and wheels are at least 50% of what makes or breaks how good your car looks. I know it's kind of a minor little detail, and some people may not really care how those fit because they fit fairly I mean they're probably good enough but it was just bugging me out that they were there was a gap in there I have to stay on the camera here we go cameras over here skip it was just bugging me that it was that way and the tire actually is kind of slides back and forth in it 
So that was my modification. So that's one thing I ran into. And let me go see what else I can find that is going to aggravate me. I wouldn't say aggravate me. Let's just say it's something I have a hard time sleeping at night because I know about it. So anyway, till I come back again, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so here we are. Uh, it's probably been seven days, no, ten days. What's today? Today's the 17th. It's been 11 days since that last segment faded out. So, yeah, I've been 11 days just getting this done. Got all the wheels done, what I was doing with them. Got them to fit the way I want. Um, glued the hood halves together. And got the body halves glued together. Glued the spare tire well in. Uh, tried to work out some of the seams a little bit. So I got things fitting pretty much the way I want. And uh, that's pretty much it. Everything is primed, ready to be painted, and start putting this little puppy together. So what do I got? Uh, today's the 17th. So I got 11 days left to get this done. Well, it should say 10 because I want to be done before the last day. Um, so as usual, I'm behind. I'm behind again. I'm going to be skating in right, right at the very end. Um, but needless to say, blah 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 blah. Whatever. I'm getting it done. Uh, this is the weekend coming up. This is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, I'm probably going to try and. Stay here at the bench as much as I can this weekend and see how much of this I can get done. I'll get my body and stuff painted, start getting all these other little pieces painted, start getting it together, and uh, see how this thing comes together. So, I want to thank everybody for watching and dropping by, and uh, hopefully the next video I post will be the final on the small-scale group build. So again... Thanks everybody, and until the next one, we'll catch you later.